hypertension, diabetes, rheumatoid arthritis, ulcerative colitis, and breast cancer treated with mastectomy and lymphadenectomy with complete response to the treatment. During the follow-up of her ulcerative colitis, CT scan showed a 59 mm right renal solid mass in the lower pole. A second 27 mm tumor was found in the contralateral kidney. After tumor committee discussion, a robotic partial right nephrectomy was performed. The pathology analysis show a PT1B clear cell renal carcinoma with negative surgical margins. With no postoperative complications, a laparoscopic left partial nephrectomy was decided after nine months from the first surgery. Here we can see the CT scan previous to the surgery. And here we show you a 3D reconstruction of the left renal lesion. A laparoscopic left partial nephrectomy is going to be performed by Evangelos Leatsikos in OR1. Hello? Yes. Yeah. Good. Hello, so, Evangelos. This is Tibet. Hi, Tibet. How are you? This is Dr. Pereira. Hello. We're just setting up our Good. instruments. We have, uh, you saw the case, from what I understand. Okay. It's a left sided, yeah. a lower pole, exophytic, partly exophytic tumor on a lady that has been previously operated on the right side, laparoscopically also. There, stop. Close. So okay. you see now, if you have the external view, how things have changed completely. Hold this. So our target is there. OK, we see this is bowel here. OK, our target is there. So we put our extra trokers now. We put a 12 knife on the right side. 12. 12. Yes. Be careful because this, because this is a cutting trocar. Yeah. I, I prefer the non-cutting trocars yeah, no, for this, but it's fine. And here, here, show me. Left side, five millimeter knife. Good. For now, we start with three trocars. Later on, we will give me the trocar. Five. Show me. These are the good trocars. The dilating tip trocars are extremely nice. Okay, rotate the table a bit more to me. Dale un poquito más de sight hacia nosotros, por favor. Good. Okay, and bring the table down. Ahora subes la mesa, por favor. Show me. You have a thirty. You need to sit down now. That's why I told you you need to yeah. sit down, eh? Okay, come in, show me up, it's 30 degrees camera. Let's see the bowel here. This needs to be vertical, like this, and like this, keep it there. Keep the cable like this, excellent. Okay, so we see the spleen here, harmonic. So, first move, we start. Good. Another bipolar here, good. Be careful to be vertical, eh? Okay. Good. We first want to cut the adhesions. Give me a, a green anesthesiology catheter from the anesthesia. Uh, catheter or what? Uh, anesthesia, the um, IV catheter. Anesthesia. The gastric catheter? No, 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 gastric, IV. The IV is that we put here, the green. Show me, show me, show me, show me, show me. Le dais un catheter, por favor. Spleen mobilization is paramount in this procedure for me. As I always say, be careful, the only problem you have here is the stomach. If the stomach is full, it can come up to this level here, so you be careful. Go back. So you see here's Gerotas. Come, show me, pull back, pull back. Straight and pull back. Good. Nicely seen. It's very important the movement that I did before. Show me the bowel here. Okay, the bowel is here. Okay, we continue. The movement of the rotating the table extremely towards the surgeon is very important because everything goes away by gravity. Come. I use bipolar on my a bipolar and a harmonic. These are my two instruments that I normally use. Okay, show me the kidney again. Good. This is our nice level here. Give me bipolar, please. 
you will see how by mobilizing the spleen, the weight of the whole thing falls away. Show me to the left. Good, come here. On top, show me on top on the left. Look, this is blunt dissection. This is, this is kidney with its fascias. Spleen mobilization. You do it gradually at different levels. And really, the spleen will go away. Now, this is a lower pole tumor, but you know, when we do partials, we always prepare for a potential complication, which is an nephrectomy. So I want to, I do everything. No, don't come in, don't come in, don't, don't stay there. As I said, be careful of the stomach. Sometimes the stomach falls back there. Okay. Excellent. Good, pull back. When you pull back, it's 30 degrees, remember, huh? Let's see, is it sanguining? Is it bleeding somewhere here? We will see later on. Okay. There's something. A bit bipolar? Come close. I don't like to have blood in our field. It's really nice to, to be nice and clear. Go back, be careful. Be careful of the height, it's 30 deep. Okay, harmonic. Come close. Okay, show me up here. I repeat, the tumor is lower pole. Show me 30 degrees on top. Evangelos, will you perform the uh, zero ischemia? Uh, we will operation? see, we will see. Normally, I prepare, always prepare the vessels. If it's exophytic, I start with no ischemia, but then, if I have bleeding, I'm ready to deal with everything the right way. Come in. Show me. This psoas muscle here, nicely seen. Okay. Okay. Now I go to the lateral side for a little bit. I don't mobilize the entire lateral part, but I do partly. Now you need to be careful of the ureter here. Eh? You never know at which level the ureter is. Eh? Normally, it should be further down, but we still need to identify this. Don't come closer. No, 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 no. Show me up. A lot of people do not like to dissect at all on the sides here. I like it. You just leave a part of the kidney hanging towards you. You will see why I like it, because you can mobilize, first of all, on a partial you will need it for sure. But even in radicals, I do this step, this move, because it really gives me the possibility to mobilize the kidney and pull the kidney up all the way with my assistant sport. You will see that. Good. OK, let's go back. Good. Let's go here again. Come here. So this is kidney for sure. Come in, close. Blunt dissection here. Come here. I'm in. In. Yes. See how the spleen has already gone away, yeah? Come in on top of me. In. Good. Are, are you going to use the harmonic device even for the tumor resection? Or are yes, you going to change yes. to the No, 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 no. Harmonic, you will see. Come in. Be careful, be careful. You see how the spleen is dropping away, eh? Need to be careful here not to open. Good. I think here we're fine. Show me to the left. The spleen here to the left. Come in. Bipolar. Be always between my instruments. Don't bypass my 
section on the side, because if you bypass my section on the side, I'm fighting with you. Plin, you deal with everything now. You don't need to deal. Look at, look at the, it really fell away. Eh? It just completely is out of our way. You see this? Completely. Give me higher harmonic. Now, I could go directly to the tumor, but I don't want to go to it. I want to find everything nicely here, dissect. Now, this is a <coughs> transperitoneal fat. This is a gerotas fascia. Sometimes the, meso the superior mesenteric artery comes here and buckle buckles up, does a, a bending here, and this is you know, one of the worst complications that you can have. I mean, ligate the superior mesenteric artery. Terrible. Disaster. Disaster. Well, it happens, yeah? It has happened. It doesn't happen. Come in. And it's, in this case, you don't see the superior mesenteric artery, but in some other cases, you can really see it. Okay, go back. Okay, come here. Good. Again, here. We do not down, go down here with a dissection. You go up here to retract your fat. There you go. See, this is the... So if you cut here, you can go in strange locations. You cut superficially there, and you peel down, like this. Excellent. Like this. Like this. Peel down. Bipolar? <clears throat> well, the big nice thing about the bipolar is you don't really need to close it. You cauterize it. Come to the left. Good. Harmonic? Show me to the left, there, exactly, yes, very good. See that everything I cut goes away with gravity. Here's the adrenal, yeah. good, okay, go back. So the vessel should be here, okay, show me. Right side, again I said, I'm cutting up here. Now it's important to find the ureter. So you see how everything peels down, huh? Nicely. Now, the trick to find the ureter is you just lift up with one instrument, show me further up, start dissecting with the other. Here's the ureter. You see it? I think the ureter is yes. here. Now, give me the bipolar so I can clean my field. This is a... Just clean here, because it's nice to have nice clean anatomy here. So normally, you would say that you see the spermatic first and then the ureter. But what you do here is you lift up the whole thing. That's why you see the ureter. Okay? Very important. Why do I need to see the ureter? Because sometimes you, don't, you need to see the level of your dissection. So you have, show me the upper pole. Show me, centralize the kidney. Centralize the kidney. Show me the upper pole. So look, sometimes if you have done the dissection here, you get the tendency to go very deep. Look where my ureter is. I can stay further up. It's very important to see your ureter at this point. Harmonic. We start here. Good. Good. Show me. There's no rush here, eh? there's no rush, because it's a partial. If it would be a radical, movements are much more aggressive. But here, it's a partial. Come in closer. Looks like this is the ureter again here. No, that's a vessel. That's a vessel here. Good. Okay, so we clean nicely down here. Show me up. I saw there was something bleeding. Give me the bipolar. I want everything clean here. The adrenal probably. Something from the adrenal. Come in. Come close on top. As I said, we want everything clear. Fantastic. 
Bipolar is fantastic. And it's very nice because you don't need to close it. You just touch, harmonic. Come on top here. I want to unify this part here. Come, come in. Good. So we see the adrenal is here, huh? You see it. So what we do is we create bluntly a space towards the inner side, and you just cut because you've already mobilized everything, yeah? I repeat, one could say, why are you doing this? You have a lower pole tumor. Because as I said, I want to be prepared for everything. So a partial, nephrectomy, a partial nephrectomy for me is, is always preparing the kidney for a radical first, and then Bipolar. When everything is prepared, then you do a nice job. No, it's very good, Evangelos. Okay, let's so go back. It's very demonstrative dissection for the laparoscopic kidney surgery. Good. So again, this is ureter very here. Informative. This is ureter. Now come on the back here. Good. Come on the back. Look what I was saying before. If you don't mobilize this stuff here, you're not being able to lift up your kidney nicely up there. So, what I do here is I always come back. Come back here. Come here. Good. I always mobilize the whole thing. Nicely here. Yes. Like this, you can still look. There's a lot of a lot of tissue being that is holding your kidney. Yeah? Mm -hmm. You don't need it. You need your kidney to be mobile, and your assistant. Look at it. Where is my upper pole? Show me the upper pole. There. Look. All this tissue is holding it. So as you can see here, nicely. Don't don't come closer. Good. As you see here, nice, 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 nice. Good. Come back. Now see what I meant before. Now, you can actually lift the whole thing much more. You see this? Because it's free here. Look at the difference in height huh? of retraction. Big. Very good. Give me the bipolar for a second. Good. Good. Okay. Harmonic. I will need someone. We will need an extra assistant. Eh? Yeah. Uh, are you resident in Kiropa? Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Show me here. Show me here. Good. So this is adrenal here. Show me. Show me. Show me here. This is the ureter here. So we start dissecting on the hilum. We want to find the hilum, eh? I always keep the light on in the room because I want the nurses and everyone to be able to see what they are. So here's the vein. See that? Good. So we have here's the ureter. Ureter nicely. Here is probably the gonadal vein. Okay. Uh, give me a clip. I normally take this with a ligature when I do an nephrectomy, so we don't need to put a clip, but just in case. Okay. Give me harmonic. Normally, the harmonic also should be able. To ligate, uh, we will see. Uh, not more than five millimeters, no? We will My see. We will see. It seems that it did its job, huh? Good. Show me. So we have adrenal here. You see how important the mobilization of the upper pole is? It's absolutely very important.
The, from the CT scan, we had an artery on the upper pole. Give me bipolar. So we should be expecting an artery here going to the upper pole. Show me, show me, show me. Good. Good. Okay. Come in. Show me, show me. Show me here. Okay, here you see nicely the artery. Okay. Give me the dissector, please. Okay, give it to me. Good. Small one. Yes. Now, show me to the left. Oops. Where did this bleeding come from? Give me the bipolar. Maybe this is the polar one, eh? Maybe this is not the main one, because I think it goes... Prepare the, the water to clean the camera, please. Harmonic. So let me clean that fat on the left there. Be careful. Be, fair, be careful of your orientation. Eh? Uh, maybe here we have a, the artery. We leave it. Okay. Let's clean the camera to see what we clean your trocar. So now we're going to go. Before we do anything on the vessels, we're going to go to identify where the tumor is. Before we even touch the vessels. Okay. Sit down, make sure you take this. So the tumor probably is here. I touch it, I think this is a tumor here. Okay, so let's go and see where ureter is. First of all, one of the problems that you have in this case, in these cases, is that you go and you actually inadvertently traumatize the ureter. So that's why I'm gonna divide the tissue here because I, it happened to me once that when I was doing a lower pole partial, I actually cut the ureter, which you have to reanastomose. What did you do? You in have such to a case? you have to reanastomose it afterwards, end-to-end -end anastomosis, but it's not fun. <laughs> and this, fortunately, was in my place. It was not in a live surgery. It's not good to you know. It would not be fun to do it in live. So in this case, all this fat can actually be cut because we don't need it. You're not doing a radical nephrectomy here, so now that I have the ureter out of the way, just be careful of your direction. Eh? This is a 30 degree camera. That's why I keep saying be careful of your direction because every time the camera moves, where's the ureter? Show me back. I want to see the ureter. The ureter is here. Nice. Okay. The fat tissue looks like it's a little bit toxic, isn't it? Ah, we will see. I hope it's not toxic because it can become a disaster when you're trying to find it. But I'm not, I don't think it's really. We will see on the kidney. See how important but this is? Go with back. This excellent. Show me the ureter again. Dissection is Good. not a problem for no. you. You see that every time I go, I make a change of movement, I say, I ask, show me the ureter. When you, once you get burned once, you're very careful, eh? Again, look, look at this movement here. You have dissected everything, so everything is nicely approachable here. Good. Okay. Good. Okay, let's Maybe go up here. in this here. case, the up lower here. pole tumor. Up here. But your dissection is very up good here? for all uh, tumors uh, or upper pole or posterior side or upper pole. It's very good. Now I'm on the kidney. Show me. Yeah. Thank you. Show me. 
You see, the kidney is touching the aorta now. That's why it's moving like this. Look. Huh? You see how it's moving? Because it's, it's on the aorta now. Come. On top. Come in. I don't... I, I see no toxic fat, Tibet, for now. Which is good for me. I think yes. this is this is, looks like the tumor here. I don't know where it starts from. So I will go here and try to find my way. Come closer. Good. Come show me to the right. Good. Come here. <coughs> ah, it's not the tumor there. Maybe the tumor is more anterior. Uh, this is the tumor here. Come, 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 come. To the left, to the left. Good. Show me. Come in. Guys, do we have our conditioning in the room or not? Show me on top. Because it's very cold, uh, very warm, isn't it? Come in, come in to the left side, show me. So you just dissect with your harmonic nicely. Here. Come in. Good. Once you're on the nice, nice kidney part, everything rolls really nicely. And as you see, I consider this to be the tumor, I'm not sure yet, so I want to unify, come in. Good. Good. Now it's time, I think, to give me a five millimeter trocar. The assistant goes there. Hold this for me. Show me here. I will use an extra five millimeter <coughs> trocar. This is fine. Yes. Okay. So let's see if this is the tumor. Now, now I need the help of the assistant. Good. Hold this for me here. Here. There. Harmonic. That's, that's the tumor, no? It seems to be. I no? think so. I think so. I'm not, we haven't seen it for sure. I will see it. I mean, could not be the tumor. You just pull. Maybe it's not the tumor. We'll see. According to the CT scan, should be here. Show me here. No, it's not here. It's not here, so it should be there. Good, come in this way. Slow movements. You don't want to go in the tumor, you want to go around the tumor. Here, I've already started it's, it's going... It's really more interesting. Okay. Here. Watching you, how you use the, your left hand the suction device. I, ha I love the suction device, and at home yeah, the, I have a metallic yes, one, yes. which is even more helpful than this. Let me come, come there. Okay. You, me. you don't need a grasper, is this amazing? No, no, do I don't, I don't okay. use a grasper on my left hand. My left hand, always in the upper tract, laparoscopy, is suction. Always. In the prostate surgery, it's different. Okay, let me see. Now rotate, pull it to you a bit. To you, to you, yes, come in. Seems that this is the, the tumor. If we follow the anatomy of the CT scan and everything, come in, come in, show me. Good. Bipolar? It's bipolar and harmonic here. Show me, show me nicely. This is the tumor, yes. Show me, show me on the left. Now again, no rush, huh? No rush. 
Amen. Remember, show me here. Now I'm in tropa. I started my dissection here, bipolar. This is tumor on the end, eh? You see this? This is the tumor there, eh? You don't see it nicely, but I see the capsule now. So, and I don't want to clean it from the fat on top because now I have nicely my assistant pulling on it. I will redirect him. Leave it to me for a second. I will redirect him. Show me, show me, show me, show me. Good, up there. Okay, come in. Come in. Good. Show me here to the right. Seems very strange, very superficial if it is a tumor. Show me to the left. It would be funny if at the end it's not a tumor. <laughs> this looks like a tumor here. Show me to the left. It looks like it. Show me to the left. Bipolar? Yeah, there is a tumor in here, eh? Show me. So, in response to what you said initially, I never plan on a, for sure, on a clampless procedure. I start on wherever it takes me. Come in, come in, come in. Show me left. Be careful of your orientation. Orientation is important here. Good. Show me, show me. Show me here to the left. You already made your inoculation, I think so. More or less. Let me. I need some more tension, so I need to yeah. make sure that he grasps it there. Good. Make sure your orientation is correct. Bipo, yes. Come in. Harmonic. Come here, show me here. Show me. Looks like the tumor here, eh? Okay. Yes. Go back. Go back a bit. Okay, good. Come in. Good. Show me here. Show me. Come in. This side. Small, eh? You see how nicely it looks? Yes. Hold this here. Give me this grasper. Hold it here, like this. Harmonic. Look at this. Yeah. 
Here. Show me. Here. There's a debate. There's a debate here. There's a debate here on a positive potential margin. Let we will see it. Let's cut. I cut this first. We haven't clamped. We have time, so it's another. But look, you mean this side here? Show me. Come in. Come in. Come in. This here. Okay. So you want me to go deeper? Okay. Give me the bipolar. Me to the left, to the left. Okay. So Alberto says that we need to cut that part there because he doesn't like it. Okay, we will do it. But let's first finish with this. We cut this. Okay, let's position this somewhere back here. Good. And let's go in and see it. Could you show the tumor? Yeah. Tumor borders. The tumor border. That, that's what I'm. De we're debating here because uh, first of all, give me the bipolar so I can stop this bleeding from here. If we need to go deeper, deeper here, we'll probably have to clamp, huh? Because otherwise, it will start bleeding. It will not be a nucleation anymore. Bring me a 10 millimeter trocar so I can put the satin skein, please. Do we have the bulldogs? <coughs> show me, show me. In this show case, me. Show me. Show me. some doubts about the surgical margins. I this? think this is uh, necessary to clamp. It has to have yeah, a yeah, nice of course. view. Of course, if we, cl if we okay. go deeper, we will clamp. There's no doubt. This, this, this here. Okay, I will cut it. This okay. But some will clamping. Show me. Show me here. Show me, show me to the left. Harmonic. Go back. Okay. Show me. Now give me scissors. Come, come in. First of all, I will go here and make a, a small incision like this. Show me. Good. I stay away from the tumor bed now because now we want to take out this segments that and make sure that we don't have a bleeder, we don't have uh, positive margins. We need to stay away from the tumor bed. The vertical. Come, come in. Come in. Come in, close, close. Good. Yeah, this is parenchyma for sure here. Hi, Evangelos. Yes. It's Katie Siebert. Why are you not going for a frozen section of the tumor and take it out instead of yeah, we could. Uh, going now we and could, taking the kidney out of by the time the by, the, by the time frozen section comes, we will have cut it anyway here. So. Since there is this doubt, I don't see why we need to to wait. Come in. I think it is all out. Yeah, but we will see. Will be interesting to know. Okay. 
Uh, take the suction here, and I want you to aspirate the smoke. Show him, show him, show him, show him, show him. Here, you aspirate. Give me a grasper, please. Good. Yes. Come in. Good. Stay there. Show me left, left, left. Show me here. Aspirate inside, aspirate inside. Good. Put some tension there for me. Yes. Good. Tension here for me. Here. Show me. Could be right. Show me the left. Good, give me the bag. Uh, leave it, leave it. We put it here, but we need to make sure. Okay. There, we have two pieces inside. Eh? Good, give me the V-lock. Give me the, the um, first give me the bipolar, please. Are you happy now? I think it's better now, huh? Eh? Yes, yeah, he, he was probably right. Hey, if you have any doubts, you always go. Okay, give it to me. Come. Good. Yes. Good. Perfect. Show me straight. Aspirate inside for me, please. Inside. Good. Okay. Go. Go. Give me a correct orientation, huh? Correct orientation, that's what I want. Good, come in. You use always the bar receipt for the... I like the bar receipt. I know a lot of people don't like it. I kind of like it. Come in, close. Oh, I think it's a nice feature. Okay. It has to do with personal preference at this point. I think especially for this uh, part of the suture, probably the Renorafi. The Renorafi I do not I put. I prefer Vicryl, for example. The, the Renorafi I put a normal Vicryl on a CT1 needle, but the inner uh, layer, I use normally this one. Leave it, go. Come closer. Good. There are pros and cons. The con is here that if you start and you pull your tension, you cannot pull more afterwards. Like with the monocryl, you have this big advantage of being able to pull at the end. How long are we with our uh, ischemia time? Quanto es el tiempo ischemia por favor? Ischemia por favor. How long? Quanto? Six minutes. Six minutes. Okay. You perform an early and no, 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 no. Sorry, I didn't hear you. Repeat it. Yes, if you are going to perform an early and clamping after yes, the suture. Yes, yes, you... yes. Okay. To see also if there's any bleeder and where it is from. 
Actually, I'm going to perform the early unclamping before I finalize this suture. Come in. It's the only way to, to see where it's bleeding. Good, give me the grasper, please. Come, to take out the clamp. Grasper para quitar el bulldog, Normally I put a suture at the end of the bulldog, I forgot to do it today. These bulldogs, I suppose you grasp them like this, huh? Yes. Good. Uh, 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 be careful. Good, take it. Good. Good, let's clean the camera for a second. So we are clamp we unclamped. You perform all the partials with the harmonic device? Or? Yes, always. I like it. Come to me. Show me, show me. It's outside, but it's fine. Give me the grasper. Grasper, it's on top, outside. Come in, prepare a clip. Give me the clip. This was not intended to go like this, but at the end it went nice. I think the, the suture sometimes... Good. Harmonic. Fine, don't aspirate anymore, fine. So now we have no stress because we have dealt with the bleeding, we have no clamping, and we can evaluate. Give me the other suture now, the, the Vicryl. Needle holder, give me the needle holder, take the needle out. Any questions, please feel, feel free to ask. Huh? You see how the mobilization of the whole system is very important. Clearly, in any doubt of your positive margins, you need to go back in further in. Now, it would have been stupid for me to do the, to do the, the further dissection without clamping. Huh? It would have been a mess. Because the, the, the bleeding, the less bleeding comes from the nucleation part of the, of the procedure. You have less bleeding in the nucleation, this is clear. Okay, come in, let me show, show me. Well, here I have, right? Don't, I don't need the section now. Okay. Now, Angolas, why do you prefer a uh, harmonic scalpel uh, instead of uh, cold cut in, uh, excision? I like it because it come in, come in. It gives me the possibility many times to do the coagulation nicely and to do a nice enucleation clamp, a uh, clip. I think it's very useful in, in uh, small esophytic tumors. You avoid bleeding, but sometimes it probably cut with you call the scissors, you I identify mean, better the surgical plane, the pseudo capsule just to perform the dissection. But you can use it you can use it also as a see here it's important to pull the the, the suture and to clamp like this, yes, give me the suction. Bring the pressure down to twelve, please. Yeah, already the pressure we have inside is nine anyway. So give me a needle holder. Okay, show me, show me. Go back, back, back. Come 
correct? Come close. Now this is common stuff, you know what we do always. Come closer. Good. Clip. Go back. Show me. Show me. Show me here. Come, clip. So we put a clip on come in, come in, come in, come in. Clip on both sides. So there's no tearing of the parenchyma on the capsula. Good. Give me a needle holder. Good. One or two more sutures, I think we're done. Now, I don't think I would put any bolsters, any stuff. We stopped doing this lately. Come in. You change the angle of the needle. In a laparoscopy, you need to change the angles of the needles, and you don't have this advantage as you have in robotics. Prepare the clip, please. Here, it's important to pull. Come in with your needle holder to push, then you grasp it like this, come in closer, and you prepare your field for the clip, okay? Come. Come in, come in, come in. Good. Suction. Good, one more here and one more here, and I think we're done, okay? Is the suture enough? Yes, it's enough. Show me. Come in. Good. See, the parenchyma is much thinner on the right side than on the left side, so you need to get a, a bit deeper on the right side. Good. Give me a clip. Come in, come in, come in, come in. Good. Needle holder. Good. Come in. So the suture was 15 centimeters. Normally, that's the length you, you cut it. So you don't need to go in and out all the time to change sutures. Come in. Prepare a clip. Again, you pull. You push in with your needle holder. Keeps the memory sometimes. Eh? You see this? Come in. Come in. Come in. Come in. Come in. Come in. It's important to be at the center of your clip. Now you put a bit more. Good. Good. Give me another clip. Come in. Harmonic. Good. Needle holder. Take the needle back, give me the suction, come in. Give me a gauze, please, an open gauze, an open... Uh, guanto, guanto. No gauze, no gauze, no gauze. Give me the open gauze, hold this. This is a trick that I like doing. Give me the suction here, please. Okay. I don't like irrigation normally. Come in, come in, come in, come in, come in. Show me. Show me to the left. Come, come in, not on the white, on the left. Show me the left. Yes, exactly. If you aspirate on the gauze, it's always easier. And the gauze is hanging outside, hold this, outside of the trocar, so give me a grasper. Have it here. Hold. So this comes out, good. 
Show me, give me the grasper. Show me up here. Come, come in. What do you think? I think it's good. Bring the uh, pressure down to uh, five, please. Five. Give me the V-lock, I will take this and put it on the wall. Five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me the bag. I forgot about that. The bag. Okay. And give me a grasper. Yeah. Show me in. Show me, show me, show me, show me. Oh, this is a big bag, yeah? Uh, we could have done a sm with a smaller bag also. It's fine. Show me. This is the small part here. Wait. Both, I think, yeah? Come in, come in, come in, come in here, come in. Yeah, I think there's both. Go back. Oh, that's it. Uh, okay. Good. Wait, leave it. Go back in. We don't take the bag out. We go parallel to the bag with the trocar again. Give me a grasper. Clean your trocar. Any questions, please feel free to ask them. Eh? Clean. We have decreased the gas to five. Go. Slowly, be careful. Good. Good. Yeah, Evan, good. It was very good. Like Excellent uh, laparoscopy kidney dissection. And it's very good for us uh, after an equation, okay. uh, reduction from the tumor pad. Vlog. Thank you for this demonstration. We are we are curious about the pathological results. I am very curious too, but I think he's probably right, huh? Because when I took it out, it felt like take, it felt like capsule, at the anterior level. So I must say, I think hold it. Come. Yes. Come in. Samoli. Good. Uh, stay, 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 stay. Now this is, I will put the kidney back it's in its position. I like doing this. I don't know if it makes any sense, but I like it. Come in. Come in. Show me. Now, why do I use a V-lock here? <laughs> Just because I had opened it on table. If not, you use any kind of suture here. Come back. Come, show me. Good. You have an extra clip? Give it to me. Come in. Now, the VLOG does not fix in the first run, so that's why I put a clip here. We are approaching the end of the surgery. Yep. So I, I would like to tell the Vito and Alberto and all uh, uh, all the uh, keep. Thank you. Thank for all. Pleasure.
good. I think this can go here. And when the weight comes down, it's fine. It's fine, I think. It's fine, but this, but this tissue will fall back. It's not a problem. It's fine. Maybe you can change fine. the patient position a little bit. It will come down. I'm not, I'm not worrying. I just put it on it. Give me the harmonic. I don't need to put any more. I'm fine. Harmonic, harmonic. I use the harmonic, as you see, also for cutting sutures, because the, the, the scissors that we normally have do not cut the multi-use instruments. So if you start cutting sutures with them, give me the section. I think we're fine. Good. Go back. Give me the drain, please. Will you remove the uh, tumor? Uh Okay, drain. Remember the pressure is because five, eh? Maybe. This bending of the ureter there, once the kidney will, f well, the belly will drop, it will straighten up. Eh? It's not a, this is, it's, okay, give it to me. I always put a drain inside. I know many people do not. Also radical infection? Always. Radical. Always, for, just for a couple of hours. I know that a lot of people don't suture it. Put me a, cl a clamp here, please. Give me a grasper, the barscopic grasper. We take this from here and we put it down. Good, we don't want it on our bed, okay? Give me to fix the drain. And I think we're done, we take out the five, good. Give me. Could you show the tumor on bench? I will, uh, yes. With the telescope? I will, I will. Thank Give me a, a grasper. Let me just suture the... Good. How long was the thing? What time? Surgery time? Scissors? Cut? Cut? Good? Hmm? 